Karl Theodor Wilhelm Weierstrass was a German mathematician often cited as the father of modern analysis. Despite leaving university without a degree, he studied mathematics and trained as a teacher, eventually teaching mathematics, physics, botany and gymnastics. Weierstrass formalized the definition of the continuity of a function, and they used it and the concept of uniform convergence to prove the Bowles-Arnault-Weierstrass theorem and Heine-Borel theorem. Biography Weierstrass was born in Ostenfelder, part of Enigolo, province of Westphalia. Weierstrass was the son of Wilhelm Weierstrass, a government official, and Theodora von der Forst. His interest in mathematics began while he was a gymnasium student at Theodorianum in Paderborn. He was sent to the University of Bonn upon graduation to prepare for a government position, because his studies were to be in the fields of law, economics, and finance. He was immediately in conflict with his hopes to study mathematics. He resolved the conflict by paying little heed to his planned course of study, but continued private study in mathematics. The outcome was to leave the university without a degree. After that he studied mathematics at the University of Munster and his father was able to obtain a place for him in a teacher training school in Munster. Later he was certified as a teacher in that city. During this period of study, Weierstrass attended the lectures of Christoph Gudermann and became interested in elliptic functions. In 1843 he taught in Deutschkron in West Prussia and since 1848 he taught at the Lyceum Hosianum in Brownsburg. Besides mathematics he also taught physics, botanics and gymnastics. Weierstrass may have had an illegitimate child named Franz with the widow of his friend Carl Wilhelm Borchardt. After 1850 Weierstrass suffered from a long period of illness but was able to publish papers that brought him fame and distinction. The University of Königsberg conferred an honorary doctor's degree on him on 31 March 1854. In 1856 he took a chair at the Guerbe Institute which later became the Technical University of Berlin. In 1864 he became professor at the Friedrich Wilhelms Universität Berlin, which later became the Humboldt Universität zu Berlin. He was immobile for the last three years of his life, and died in Berlin from pneumonia. Mathematical Contributions Soundness of Calculus Weierstrass was interested in the soundness of calculus, and at the time, there were somewhat ambiguous definitions regarding the foundations of calculus, and hence important theorems could not be proven with sufficient rigor. While Bowles Arno had developed a reasonably rigorous definition of a limit as early as 1817 his work remained unknown to most of the mathematical community until years later, and many had only vague definitions of limits and continuity of functions. Delta epsilon proofs are first found in the works of Cauchy in the 1820s. Cauchy did not clearly distinguish between continuity and uniform continuity on an interval. Notably, in his 1821 cause de analyse, Cauchy argued that the limit of continuous functions was itself continuous, a statement interpreted as being incorrect by many scholars. The correct statement is rather that the uniform limit of continuous functions is continuous. This required the concept of uniform convergence, which was first observed by Weierstrass's advisor, Christoph Gudermann, in an 1838 paper, where Gudermann noted the phenomenon but did not define it or elaborate on it. Weierstrass saw the importance of the concept, and both formalized it and applied it widely throughout the foundations of calculus. The formal definition of continuity of a function, as formulated by Weierstrass, is as follows, is continuous at if such that for every in the domain of using this definition and the concept of uniform convergence, Weierstrass was able to write proofs of several theorems such as the intermediate value theorem, the Bowles-Arnault-Weierstrass theorem, and Heine-Borel theorem. Calculus of variations Weierstrass also made significant advancements in the field of calculus of variations, using the apparatus of analysis that he helped to develop. 
Weir's trust was able to give a complete reformulation of the theory which paved the way for the modern study of the calculus of variations. Among the several significant axioms, Weierstrass established a necessary condition for the existence of strong extrema of variational problems. He also helped devise the Weierstrass-Erdmann condition, which gives sufficient conditions for an extremal to have a corner along a given extrema, and allows one to find a minimizing curve for a given integral. Other analytical theorems see also list of things named after Karl Weierstrass. Stone-Weierstrass theorem, weierstrass cassirer theorem, Weierstrass's elliptic functions, Weierstrass function, Weierstrass m-test, Weierstrass preparation theorem, lindemann weierstrass theorem, Weierstrass factorization theorem, Enneper weierstrass parameterization, sokitsky weierstrass theorem, selected works, Zur theory der Abelschen function n. Theory der Abelschen Function N, A B H A N D L U N G E N 1, Math, Worker, B D, 1, Berlin, 1894, A B H A N D L U N G E N 2, Math, Worker, B D, 2, Berlin, 1895, A B H A N D L U N G E N 3, Math, Worker, B D, 3, Berlin, 1903. Vol. Uber die Theorie der Abelschen Transcendenten, Math. Worker, B.D. 4. Berlin, 1902. Vol. Uber Variations Reichnung, Math. Worker, B.D. 7. Leipzig, 1927. Students. Edmund Hassel, Sophia Kowalewskaya, Goster Mitteglefler, Hermann Schwartz, Karl Johannes Tommy. Georg Cantor, honors and awards. The lunar crater Weierstrass is named after him.